There we go, bottom of the first now. And Jake Elliott looking in against Christian Deaton. The pitch, down and away, ball one. Talked about this yesterday that there definitely seemed to be a split in uh, fan base here. A lot of Oklahoma stuff uh, on display. A lot of hats, a lot of, a lot of t-shirts. It's funny, I think the when this game started, I probably wasn't more than about 30 people here, and now yeah, the crowd has tripled just in the last 15 minutes. Yep. Late arriving as usual. High and away, two and one now. You're watching us live on Bakersfield.com. I'm Lewis Amostoy with Jeff Evans. Normal voice of the Roadrunners, Corey Costello, probably asleep at this moment for his uh, the basketball team's ride to the NCAA tournament when they lost to <laughs> Oklahoma yesterday, ironically. Yeah, they were all back in town by 11 o'clock yeah. last night, so uh, they don't mess around the NCAA. <laughs> when you get knocked yeah, off, they've got you on the first plane yeah. out of town. Right. Jake Elliott, 3-2 uh, count here on the leadoff hitter. A pitch. And Deaton punches it into right center. And the right fielder is there to make the play. That was none other than Alex Wise. Jake Ortega, the pitcher for Oklahoma. Last night when Alec Hansen pitched, he's six foot seven right-hander. Well, I tell you, Mr. Elliott is listed also at six foot seven. Junior out of Coppell, Texas. He doesn't look nearly as big as Hansen was yesterday. No. He's got a little more weight on him. Yeah. I think that maybe makes it seem like right he's down uh, the middle for a strike at 90 miles an hour. Yeah, I think when you when you have that tall rangey look, it looks like you're two or three inches taller. Malik Jones, now down 0-1. Batting in the two hole today because of the injury to Fraley. One and one to count now. The pitch. Off speed one, and that's gonna go land for a single. Just a little bit of a off the end of the bat, soft line drive. Uh, no chance for Harris to run that thing down, the second baseman. Second baseman. Brings up David Metzger now. David Metzger. Metzger, of course, led the Roadrunners in batting each of his first two seasons and uh, began the series hitting 292. He's got his average up to 333 now. Again, this is still early in the year. You know, if you have a hot se series or a cold series, your right. average can really jump up or drop off quickly. Checks the runner at first. Jones is, does not have a stolen base this year and been thrown out twice trying to steal. Metzger has 10 runs scored, which leads the team. 22 hits and 15 runs batted in. That also the, leads the team. Yeah, shows a little bit of bunt action there and misses for a ball. Hit a triple in the Thursday night game, a ball that Alex Wise and right field lost in the sun. That is not an issue now with an earlier start today. I mean, other than a high pop-up might be a sun issue, but not anything line drive. Back to first goes Elliott. In the defensive lineup for for Oklahoma is at first base is Flansburg. Second base is Common Hall. Over at third, Kate Harris. Shortstop is Noisy, Sheldon Noisy. And swing and a miss, strike two. Took something off that pitch. 79 mile an hour changeup. Metzger was out in front. He's been clocked at 90, according to the radar gun here earlier. And here's the pitch. And fouls it away. Back into the street here, behind Hart Field. I always wonder, behind here, it's just an empty field with a lot of a lot of brush, a lot of sage, but yeah, how many baseballs are yeah. out there, I wonder? When Bill Kernan first started this program, he envisioned having a field like this and also having a another baseball field on the just south of this facility, but that has never come to fruition at this time. So hoping you can get two fields like that, then they could hold tournaments and right. that type of thing. And they're gonna need to increase seating capacity in order to uh, host any kind of an NCAA tournament situation. That's on the blueprint for the future. Here's the pitch. 
Yeah, you look at the facilities in the Big 12 for baseball, they're pretty impressive. A lot of money in that yeah. league. I've been able to see those at Baylor, Oklahoma, and at Texas. Basically, single-A or triple-A style parks. Fouls it away. Well, you're talking about very established athletic programs with very deep pockets. Yep. Two and two the count now for Elliott. Malik Jones on first for CSUB. The pitch and Jones is going and the throw is high and he's in there for a stolen base. First steal of the year for Jones. Metzger of course struck out swinging on that pitch. So, uh, but it does put a baser, baker's a runner in the scoring position but now it's up to Max Carter and they need a base hit or a sooner mistake to cash in. Max Carter now at bat. Jones with the lead off. Ever at second. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball high. Inside too. 1-0, two outs here in the bottom of the first. First of two here today. Ernie Banks always said, let's play two. Let's play two. And that one's in the dirt. That's going to advance Jones on the wild pitch. So Jones now in scoring, definitely in scoring position now. The catcher for Oklahoma, Dorenzo, had no chance. That ball bounced five or six feet in front of home plate and to the right of home plate, and uh, he didn't even have a chance to get it, you know, try to go over there and knock it down. No, not at all. 2-0 oh now the count. Jones can put pressure on. High, ball three. So Elliott having a little bit of issue with control here. Down 3-0 in the count with a wild pitch. Again, he has, you know, he's got some issues. That was his third wild pitch of the year. He's got 13 walks already this season, only 22 innings. So command can be an issue. Inside for a strike. Caught the corner there, 90 miles an hour on the fastball. Can Max Carter pick up Malik Jones and give CSB a lead here early on? The pitch, and he drives it to Left field, that'll score Jones. And he answers our question. So an RBI single for Mets for Carter. Well, the pitcher for Oklahoma, just uh, Elliott just did not want to put him on and just, you know, threw a 3 0 fastball right down the middle and then into the same exact pitch on the next right. pitch and, uh, you know, about belt high toward the inside corner. And uh, that's a batting practice pitch. And uh, Carter didn't miss it. It's going to bring up now Cody White, who's hitting the DH. Pitch is in for a strike. Cody's hitting 310 this year, 13 for 42. Five doubles, no triples, no home runs, four runs batted in. Start of the year as a starting catcher early in the season. And hits it right back up. The second baseman flips the noisy, and that ends the inning. Precariously, uh, you know, with one, precarious on that play. Well, we've got our first winner of the day. All right.